What's up guys, Nightingale here and welcome back to another update notice video. Today we're going to be covering the 1124 update notice. We're here live on Twitch. Say hello uh, Twitch chat to YouTube. YouTube say hello to Twitch chat. So uh, yeah, we're going to be jumping through this really quick and going through uh, the update notice. As I said before, uh, yeah, we're not touching anything related to the collab. So GM Dominial, we're here. We're going to go ahead and jump down here to number six to start with today uh, with lobby improvements. So lobby's getting some update stuff here. Um, very uncalled for. I'm curious to see how this is going to look uh, when it's done. Uh, you'll be able to set up a new lobby type with backgrounds, um, customized stuff. Interestingly enough, it is, uh, it's something. We'll be so happy to see this. Uh, you can use stickers, background packs, expressions, hero skins, uh, heroes you've acquired to decorate your lobby. Just what we needed. Um, uh, save button, you current settings, uh, select as lobby button, you can save your current settings and set it as your lobby. So yeah, people are going to be, uh, having fun with this and, uh, cool, uh, something random to add to the game, I guess. Uh, you'll be able to use, uh, background stuff, you, anything, basically all the artwork you found along the way, um, from beating stuff you'll be able to use here. Um, so it's an example of using the illustrations from your side stories and, uh, you'll be getting a celebration pack, um, that will be claimable from 1124 to, uh, 1222. So if you're watching this later past 11 or 1222, uh, this pack is gone. All right. Uh, let's see here. It's been setting an illustration on you. It'll be synchronized for all devices. Okay, so it's going to be basically ser their server side. Uh, changes location, secret shop, pop-up shop, and expedition will be removed. Lobby table and assign heroes, pets. Um, wait, so the lobby is getting completely nuked. So we're basically stuck with this? So we're doing, we don't even get the privilege of keeping the lobby the way it is now. That kind of... Or is it just when we use this? Hero settings lobby, it will be synchronized to all devices. When setting the hero, UI customizations can be changed or removed. Okay. Uh, removed lobby. Okay, so it's if you go to this, you lose the lobby. All right. Okay, cool. Um, all right. So the new five-star Moonlight boss ML5 is here. Uh, the preview you can watch uh, if you want to watch it on the update notice. Uh, Zio, here we go. We're going to skip over all of that because it's basically reiterating what his skills do. So let's jump into his kit. Now remember, this is a boss ML5. These come out once a year. Um, so let's, uh, let's take his kit a little bit deeper and see what's up and if they changed anything from his preview two weeks ago. Yeah, two weeks ago. All right, attacks the enemy with a spear before... Let's see here. It's let, yeah, let me destroy you. Attacks the enemy with a spear before increasing attack of the caster for one turn. When the caster is uh, defiled... Wait. I... I literally can barely read this. I actually have to blow this up for my... Defied. Okay. There we go. I literally am blind and need glasses. Um, activates uh, disappear as an extra attack. Uh, disappear can only be activated once per turn. During the caster's turn, disappear attacks the enemy with a sword. When the enemy is um, when the enemy is uh, defeated, increases combat readiness by fifty percent. Uh, yeah, in defeated. Increases combat readiness by 50% and penetrates the target's defense by 50%. Hooray! We have another death pen unit in the game. Um, all right. So, at uh, Supreme Authority, at the start of the first battle, increases combat readiness up to, I think it was, what, 20%? Unaffected by units that reduce combat readiness, increases the caster, uh, increases the combat readiness the caster receives. 
So this is what, in short, is going to make him be able to um, cut these opening units. All right, we don't care about the uh, before awakening, because, again, nobody's ever going to do that. Bow down before me. What a little cocky guy. Holy crap. Uh, after awakening, attacks the enemy, dispels two buffs before silencing for one turn, decreases combat readiness by 30%, grants defy to the caster for three turns, penetrates the target's defense by 100%, cannot trigger a critical hit. When the target is a hero, damage dealt increases proportional to the target's uh, current health. Defy, when attacking, increases critical hit chance by 50%. When attacked... Decreases damage suffered by 50%. When one or more damage reduction effects is granted, only the strongest is applied. Defy cannot be dispelled. Um, so, according to the leaked uh, information already through those really leaky um, pipes, uh, his multipliers are trash and this does no damage on his S3. So, even though he 100% pens defense, don't expect... Um, don't expect anything too special out of this other than the silence and the uh, decreased combat readiness and giving himself the buff. It's not a damage skill. It's just a buff skill for you for the most part. Uh, also, uh, beautiful thing is uh, 10 soul burn. Here we go again with the really cheap souls. Uh, dispels all buffs from the target. So whatever there is, done. So the fact that this unit can cut at 250 something speed, cut almost 300 speed units, should tell you that um, it, pretty much it's going to come down to, uh, you're never going to be able to use this unit against openers because they're going to have this crap banned, just like Bellion is banned for book holders. So, you'll never see the unit. Um, so some skill effects bestow will, uh, bow before me will be changed. Uh, when used during AI battle, his skill bow down before me will be used on all enemies with high combat readiness first. Okay. <clears throat> his M M his memory imprint is going to be identical heroes, unknown slates and dark coffers. So this is what we mean by a boss ML five. These come around once a year. So don't fret too much. It's not like we're going to get too many of these equal uh, a fun time, let's be real. Because it's 50 gold transmit stones to triple S a unit, and that's for him, it's effectiveness. So um, this will be available as soon as you pull the unit. This is not available until you pull the unit. Once you pull it, then these will show up. All right, we got three new ex exclusive equipments for a couple heroes nobody asked for, but let's jump in and see what's up. So Haste is getting an exclusive equipment with a critical hit chance, six to 12%, hooray, because that helps cut down on gear score. So let's see here. He's now got uh, Unvoiced Scythe, increases combat readiness of the caster by 15% when using Unvoiced Scythe. Uh, Unvoiced Scythe has a 75% chance to inflict bleeds on the target for two turns before using Envoyed Scythe. And Vampiric Seal decreases cooldown of the Vampiric Seal by one turn. Hmm, I wonder which one you're going to end up using. All right, Bomb Model Kana, because we really needed um, Bomb Model Kana for whatever reason. I mean, it's just time to get it into the cycle and get it. Uh, effectiveness, 6, 8 to 16 percent. Okay. Uh, quick bombardment. Has a 50 percent chance to make the target unable to be buffed for one turn when using quick bombardment. Okay. Uh, stance shift. Increases speed and dual attack chance of stance shift. Uh, striking stance by an additional 5 percent. Okay. Full bombardment. Takes the uh, makes the target unhealable for two turns when using full bombardment. That sounds like the most fun one out of all of them so far. All right. Uh, the next exclusive equipment nobody asked for is... Okay. Hold on a second. I, I'm having to Google something real quick because um, I'm sorry, my brain just uh, took a dump. I'm pretty sure. 
Attacks the enemy with a poundful, uh, with a powerful ground pound, silencing them for one turn, decreasing combat readiness by 50% before um, increasing evasion chance of caster for two turns. I'm pretty sure nobody uses this for silence. When somebody dies, the caster is granted an extra attack and increased combat readiness. Uh, attacks the enemy with a uh, 40% chance to cre decrease defense for two turns. I'm pretty sure. Acid does not use effectiveness whatsoever on anything in any part of his build. I'm just happy it's not speed. But what in the world are they drinking over at their development team? What in the world? All right, well, let's see how gross this really is. All right, slice. Increases slice chance to decrease defense by 10%. Okay. Oh, God, here's the passive. Swift action with swift actions effect. When an enemy dies, increase grants increase greater attack instead of attack buff. Great. So chat, chat, chat. Here, here, here. We're gonna just uh, go out. And we're gonna put this in chat and enjoy this. For those of you who uh, can't read, uh, enjoy. <clears throat> For today, today only, I shall read this off to you on YouTube. Let's talk about Gab. <clears throat> Let's talk about this sacred art, all right? <clears throat> Gab, aka Greater Ass Beating, is an ancient martial arts technique consisting of the manipulation of universal probabilities to force your opponent into surrendering the win 40% of the time. The inventor of this ancient jujitsu, RB McFirst pick, is universally acclaimed across the ladder for his incredible displays of skill in every match. He uses the forbidden spell in. <clears throat> yeah. So, yes. Uh, except this time, it's not a 40% chance probability, it's guaranteed. Okay, I know which one everyone's using. Um, and then execution dispels one buff from the enemy using execution. This effect is applied before inflicting the silence. Said no one ever. All right, so pretty much he's going to be running around with a uh, gab. All righty, so these will not be craftable uh, for the next uh, rotation. Um... So you're gonna have to pull these for your SIDS. Uh, good luck. And um, yeah. All right, the uh, Kraut and Holy Sacrifice drop rate up. Uh, this will be running from 11.24 to 12.1. Uh, um, most likely a skip, although Krau is still probably arguably one of the best um, knights in the game. Uh, especially for Rimuru's on Guild War and Arena. Um, honestly, skip it, though. But, I mean, he is a good knight. But I, I can't sit here and tell anybody to pull this. So, uh, but, yeah, Kral, uh the artifact, you don't need to chase that either. Uh, it's crap unless it's 30. So, keep that in mind. Um, all right, other improvements and adjustments. <clears throat> so... A new pack will be added to the shop. Yay, more monetization. Uh, the Welcome Back Custom Pack. The sale uh, for the Welcome Back Custom Pack 1 and 2, which are sold in-game, will end and will be renewed with uh, improved pack items. Uh, sales uh, schedule will be 11:24 after maintenance. The purchase requirements of returning heirs for 14 days after the player returns to Epic 7. You can purchase this once per account. It is 600 Sky Stones, 10 Leaves, 4 Free Covenant 7s for three, day, four day, wait, 3 days, 4 Summons for 3 days, so you'll get a total of 5, plus you get the choice of 60 Covenant Bookmarks, 5 Galaxy Bookmarks, 4 5 Elemental Summon Select Connection, excluding Light Darks, uh, you'll be getting 4 of those. Mystic Metals, 300, Potion of Ascension, 1, Molagora, 5, and a level 85 equipment selecting chest. So, uh, most, mostly all those are crap. Uh, I guess take the Molagoras, depending on the price of this thing. Um, <clears throat> because the price, I'm just going to go ahead and throw this out here because I just saw it. Because the prices are, this is a blank spot. This goes in based upon your location. 
All right. Uh, players who already purchased the pack previously will now be able to purchase a new pack. If the pack uh, is currently displayed in the shop before the maintenance, uh, only the pack will be available after purchase. If you are a returning player uh, on 1124, you will be able to purchase the renewed welcome pack. Cool. All right. Uh, adventure side story. Typos in certain dialogue in the special side story fable... Uh Fable of Demons of Natalon will be fixed. I'm pretty sure it ends, so I don't know why you're fixing certain dialogue things. It's ending now. So the the the, this, the typos needed to be fixed last. Are we sure we know what we're doing at the development part mart, department? This ends at reset. And we're fixing typos at reset. <clears throat> An issue where uh, Boss Zeo in episode 4, chapter 10, 10-5, uh, Jealous Speared would not flee and revive with the effect triggering uh, when defeated after he uh, steals the opponent's revive buff uh, using his skill. No more games. Bow down before me. will be fixed. Uh, let's see your Skill description of two-star monsters, blood slime will be modified to match their actual effects. No functional changes. I demand a recall. How dare you? Uh, typos in certain dialogues of the Dagger Sakaar uh, mission. Whoops. Uh, Ju Chub, sorry. I have no idea how to say your name. Thank you for following people to join your request. Welcome to the stream. And I forgot to turn off notifications per usual of my normal uh, update notices. <laughs> I do this probably about once a month. I forgot to turn them off. All right. Um... Let's see here. Where were we? Oh, yeah. Typos will be fixed. Nobody cares. Heroes. Uh, voice lines have acquired. Some special change heroes will not use if you appear in voice menu will be fixed. Uh, three star saving. Uh, improvements will be made to display the passive when counterattacks triggered as passive from Savior Aiden. Uh, an issue where five star hero, Politis skill, Astral Guide was applied to normal monsters, immune buff. Uh, relationship uh, Rand will be updated. Uh, an issue where incorrect element icon was displayed on the screen. Dear Savior Aiden, what in the world? Uh, okay, don't didn't notice any of this. Uh, Arky's uh, Seven Day Growth Guide, new and returning event improvements. For most of us, have already improved this, but uh, or finished with this, but they're updating it to make it better for n players who are just joining in. Cool. Um, so they're adding some other things to show you uh, where you are along the way. One, uh, current points acquired will be displayed. The lock guide gone will prevent you. Um, will be displayed uh, when you cannot acquire uh, rewards and the receive all button will be added a five star moonlight uh, hero recruitment event improvements a pop up screen will be displayed to inform players regarding the event at the start and end of the event on the lobby event button so they're now letting you know that there is a five star moonlight hero recruitment available inside the event thing if you did not know you've been sleeping under a rock um, let's quickly scan through this uh, if there's anything there that is worth mentioning here on stream six stars promotional celebrated for checking it through stream multiple times will be resolved i did not see that uh there have been a total of throughout the server event period of items being removed during the maintenance okay base stats of two star monsters so yeah, if some of this stuff is something you've been dealing with, uh, there you go. Uh, they're fixing it. Uh, you can read up more on it on the update notice. And last but not least, let's go ahead and cover the event. Uh, password for this week is Emperor Zio Zao, whatever his name is. You're going to get your three leaves and 300,000 gold. Um, <clears throat> so... Yeah, there is that. All right, now let me go do follower only mode is now off. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. We're going to do five minutes of this, and then we're up to five minutes. If you guys don't have any questions, we will wrap up and uh, go forward. Get on with the stream. So, yep, that's pretty much all she wrote for today. Um For me, it's going to be a boring couple weeks, but hey, it is what it is. <clears throat> so we have a timer set. Uh, isn't there a post with collab details? I'm not covering the collab. So, yeah.
anything else? We got anything else. I am really interested. Yes, the two star monsters. Um, they are adjusting down here. Um, no functional changes are made. They're just updating the uh, the text. Oh, wait, no. It says the base stats and additional stats of the enhancement for two star. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, so Mighty Knight, Mighty Scout, uh, Mighty Soldier, Mighty Scout, and Mighty Guardian and Mighty Warrior will be changed. So, yeah, I'll be interested to see if we can still one-shot with it. Hopefully they make it easier because Mighty Scout is a very... If you can get good gear, he's a good... <laughs> He can one-shot Banshee. Mighty Scout can actually troll people if they don't, uh, if you build them right. You can actually go roll somebody with a Mighty Scout. So if they make this better, cool. Uh, we'll, we'll try it out. I've got him six stars, so we can go see if he can one-shot. Um, we can definitely go see if the Mighty Rat will one-shot Banshee still uh, tomorrow. I've got the gear to do it, so uh, we'll 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 definitely be checking this out, <laughs> and we'll keep you guys posted on this one. So hopefully they're making them better. I, I'd be terrified if they're not. If they're making these things worse, I'm gonna be so sad. Because <laughs> we've been telling people to build Mighty Scout for a while. Hey, you don't have uh, you don't have Euphine, you don't have Ervalen, you don't have Biken. Mighty Scout, it is. All right, looks like we are drying up on questions, so if nobody else has any questions, we're going to bounce. I'll give you guys about another 15, 20 seconds, and then I'm going to wrap up, and we'll move on to the stream. Uh, YouTube, feel free to hit me up in the comments below. Uh, we'll try to get you guys situated and covered up. Um, it is Thanksgiving here in the U.S., so today and tomorrow I'm going to be very, very, very limited with time but I will try to do my best where I can um, and try to get as many done. If not, it, I'll start answering questions on Friday. Um, but I've got two very long prep days of cooking to do, so I, uh, I, I have, like, absolutely no time. It's going to be great. All right, so that's going to take care of it for today. Nobody else has got any questions, so we are going to turn the timer off and wrap up for today. So thank you guys for coming and hanging out. Uh, YouTube, go ahead, or Twitch chat, go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. YouTube, say goodbye to Twitch chat. And uh, we'll be back up next week to continue on with the update notice stuff, see what's coming uh, our way for Epic 7. You all have a great, for those of you in the U.S., have a great Thanksgiving. Uh, don't eat too much. Uh, be safe because, you know, there's a lot of weird Thanksgiving accidents that happen, especially with the kitchens. And um, we'll see you all next week in the uh, next update notice. So take care. See you later.